Hey everybody, Unit 1, Video 5, this is Miss Moran. Vocabulary of Relations and Functions. So we're going to start here with a couple definitions. Our first definition is relation. A relation is defined as a set of ordered pairs. Nothing in particular, just a set of ordered pairs. A function. A function is a special type of relation. It is a relation in which for each component of the ordered pair There is a there is exactly one value of the second component. Let me explain using these three examples. All three, F, G, and H, are, are relations. They are all sets of ordered pairs. The question is, are these relations that special set of ordered pairs that we can call them functions? So we will find out by looking at the first component and seeing if it repeats itself with a different second component. So we can say here that the element, the first elements are 1, negative 2, and positive 3. And 1 is matched up with 2, negative 2 is matched up with 4, and 3 is matched up with negative 1. This is the, relation, this is the uh, definition of a function here. Each of the first components, maybe that's what I forgot, first components is matched with one element, exactly one, of the second. So let's take a look at G, our relation G. The first component is 1 or 2, and 1 is matched up with 1 and 2 and 3, and 2 is matched up with 3. So 1 is matched up with those, and 2 is matched up with 3. The problem is not that 3 is receiving 2 arrows. The problem is that 1 is giving 3 arrows. One is the first element being matched with three different pieces from the second component. In other words, our x is repeated. Let's take a look at the last. h, negative 4 and negative 2 are the first. And then we have 1 and 0. Negative 4 goes with 1 but negative 2 goes with 1 and 0. So this is not a function either. We do not want x to be repeated. Okay, we have two more definitions. The definitions are domain and range. Domain in a relation, it is the set of all values of the independent variable. In many cases, this is the, the x values, all of the x values, but it won't always be x. We work with different types of functions. And our range in a relation, this is the set of all values of the dependent variable. And in many cases that is our y. So here if we were to list our domain and our range for this relation, we would say that our domain is negative 5, 0, and positive 5, and our range is the value 2. 
for our set of ordered pairs, this relation here, the 3, 1, 4, 2, 4, 5, and 6, 5, we would say our domain is 3, 4, and 6, all of our x's, and our range is 1, 2, and 5. And the last representation I have here, I would say, let me, actually let me draw something here. This would be another representation of a relation that 4 goes with A, 6 goes with B, 7 goes with B, and negative 3 goes with B. So here would be our independent, and here's our dependent. So this would be my domain, and this would be my range. All right, bring any questions that you have about problems 5 through 16 to class tomorrow.